He's a liar. He's mentally incompetent. What do you think when you hear Trump Republicans calling it the Biden crime family? Or, uh, <laughs> I- that was Jill Biden uh, laughing at legitimate concerns people have about our family. Welcome to Nurk News. I'm Nurkish. Today, we're going to be taking a few minutes to break down this bizarre interview Jill did with Mika Brzezinski, who... Uh, who let's just say she's a peach of a lady. He could have undermined the messaging so much that he can actually control right. uh, exactly what people think. And that if, is the that is our you, job. That's nice. Establishment media is nice. Anyway, the interview gets a lot worse. Let's take a look. One congresswoman, the Biden crime family sold out America. Marjorie Taylor Greene, he's a liar. He's mentally incompetent. Um, and let's not even talk about what let's go Brandon means, mm-hmm. but you have U.S. senators holding signs that say that. Biden it's hard to realize our country, isn't it? I mean, to look at it, what we used to have and um, what the other side, the extremists, have turned this country into. I mean, we would never see things like that, say, 10 years ago. Yeah, no, uh, you're right. We didn't just endure four years of the left inciting violence, shouting profanities, and comparing Trump to every evil person imaginable. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? No. I'm going to say one thing. F*** Trump. Kathy Griffin in that image. President Trump's responding right now. There's the photo. We've blurred out uh, the bloody replica of President Trump's head that she was holding. I don't know. Maybe they don't like this sign because it's a little too subtle for them. It's for the plebs. But hey, uh, you know, Jill said 10 years ago. So let's play devil's advocate and travel back to the peaceful civility of 10 years ago. What they're proposing. Romney wants to let the, he said in the first 100 days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain! Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. Oh, wait, that's right. You're calling the most boring, milquetoast candidate imaginable a hateful monster. Kind of like you did to the person before that, and so on and so on. I'm starting to think there might be a pattern to this. Now, the interview wasn't completely biased. I don't want to mislead you. Hunter's laptop was discussed but only as a tool to shame people for caring about it in the first place. Showing picture of of him during vulnerable moments in his battle with addiction on the floor of the house. This would crush any family. Mika, I I think what they are doing to Hunter is cruel. You know, I love my son and it's had, it's hurt my grandchildren. Oh, I'm sure those aren't the only family members Hunter's hurt, but enough of that. Let me know what you think. Are you tired of these people laughing at you? You know, Jill laughs, Kamala laughs, Joe laughs. What's so funny? (laughs) Let me know in the comments. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Boo!